Uh, hi, Gary. Uh, well, more guilt, eh? Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah, it's the usual. Um, I've, I've heard it, all this before. I've heard this argument a thousand times, and I've seen it in action, and I've seen the effect that it has on people. Um, <clears throat> more of the, you couldn't even bother to lift a finger to do one little tiny thing to make this world a better place because you're too damn lazy to do it. I have heard that so many times, and I've seen people use it against other people so many times. <clears throat> Um, and I, you know, <laughs> you, you, what the case that eventually ends up being made is we're going to have to jettison guilt altogether uh, if this is what guilt becomes. Because I would hold that the damage done by somebody feeling guilty of the existential type, uh, the sort that sort of says you can never really catch up to the terrible things that you've done until you do something extraordinarily against your own nature, penance, <clears throat> self-mortification, that sort of thing, um, denying your own urges, I suppose. Um, only when you do that can you possibly expunge the guilt, and even then it's not entirely clear that you can, because the little insinuations that you're still not trying hard enough it just never stops. Um, <clears throat> We've seen the downside to guilt, and if if taken to extreme, it can lead to ruined lives, uh, ruined sanity, that kind of thing. Um, now, when I was actually dealing with this issue a long time ago, when I uh, decided to become a lapsed Catholic, one of the things that always preoccupied me was, do the people at the top of this uh, organization that peddles guilt on a global scale... Um, do they actually believe in all of this? And In some ways, in my opinion, the jury is still out on that. The people at the very top of the Catholic Church, which is one gigantic guilt machine, if you ask me, um, may actually believe that what they're doing is improving the world. And this is the biggest hurdle that you run up against when you sort of think that you might want to sort of argue with them in terms of the way that they view guilt. <clears throat> um... It's an existential sort of guilt, a debt that can never be paid, uh, a sense of disgust at inhabiting the human body because the flesh is inherently sinful, all that kind of thing. Um, it raises the same sort of echoes, believe it or not. Now, this is probably my fault, not yours, but it, it raises the same echoes as, uh, as your um, uh, pronouncements, I guess, your position raises as well. And I, you know, again, I'll just have to look at it the same way. I'll have to say, look, the weapons that you're using to try and make me into a moral person are more immoral than the sins that, I, that I'm committing. <clears throat> um, and anyone who says otherwise, I think, doesn't really understand the destructive nature of guilt. Um, guilt of a certain intensity, uh, it's hard to get nastier and more horrific than that. Um, if you've ever read Kafka, if you've ever read, uh, oh, I don't know, James Joyce, if you've ever read, uh, uh, ever watched a Woody Allen movie or something like that, they deal with guilt sort of as a joke, but the assumption is uh, it's horrific, especially Kafka, I find, where um, even when bad things, when terrible things happen to you, you're going to be punished and you're going to welcome the punishment because of the guilt. And what will people do to escape from guilt? Um, what price will people pay to um, expunge a certain level of guilt? I think that, <clears throat> and I don't exaggerate when I say this, no price is ultimately too high. If you can take somebody who's fallen prey to excessive guilt, they will quite literally do anything to, as they see it, atone for what they've done. Anything. And the truly horrific thing about people who reach that point but haven't quite seen their guilt for what it is, is the people that they go to to try and atone for their guilt are the very people who are placing it in their heads to begin with, who are abusing them. 
<clears throat> and again, my theory was, and still is, the people uh, that I dealt with who uh, peddled excessive guilt um, probably, you know, in as much as it's possible for me to determine these things, probably thought they were doing me a favor by inflicting it upon me. Um, they believed all of it themselves. It's sort of this autopilot thing, this guilt machine that uh, that got uh, created long ago, and <clears throat> they didn't understand the nuclear chain reaction that they'd set off when they, you know, split the atom that way uh, with uh, their guilt uh, fission bomb. Um, and I don't think that most people who actually peddle in guilt really understand its awesome destructive power, the way it can smash your mind to pieces and reduce you to a wreck of a human being. Um, <clears throat> yes, it really is that bad. Uh, I, I've seen it in, in action with people. I think jury's still out, but um, by the time I get to my grave, I think I will have expunged enough of it to say that it didn't destroy my life. If my life goes on the way it go, it's going now, then I don't think it will have destroyed my life. But I can see how it can destroy people. <laughs> I can see that there's nothing worse than uh, excessive guilt. Um, and again, that's evidenced in the fact uh, that people will pay any price to atone. Um, and that's why I say, as I say, I believe that the people who inflict it generally are sincere, uh, that they're actually, um, they don't understand the awesome strength of the tools that they're using to try and make the world a better place. And I give you the benefit of the doubt in the same way. I think that what you're doing um, in your philosophy is extremely destructive but I, I, and I'm not being sarcastic here, I think that you honestly believe that in peddling this guilt, you're actually helping the world to be a better place. I have no other choice but to believe that, based upon everything that I've seen. Um, <clears throat> all I can say is, um, for those who judge people who peddle guilt too excessively, be easy on them. Anyone who peddles guilt to that kind of psychotic degree feels it probably worse themselves. That's why I don't get angry when people do that. Um, the peddler of guilt is generally the worst victim of it.